What's going on guys and welcome back to some more Zelda 2 the Adventure Link in the last part We got all these stats that I Demonstrated and basically bet for got to the first palace now interesting thing is that um If you beat a palace and put the crystal in the if you put the crystal in the palace and uh, you get the item the, the palace turns to rock and you can't go back so um yeah, unfortunately, we cannot do that. We can't really go back and just grind out like they kind of thought that through. So uh, is basically what I'm saying. But um, yeah. So we're gonna try to see if we can get through the second palace, which is actually not too far. But there is gonna be a certain item we're gonna need. It's up in the desert. Um, up in this desert area right here. But um. Now, um, starting with the second, um, starting with the second, um, town, basically, we're gonna need to do certain tasks if we want to get the magic spell. Like, we need to go here and get a trophy. Oh, yeah, we get the trophy. So, um, yeah, we should get a few more levels. of My goal in, like, my goal in, like, um, to, in the, in the... Cause like the area after the second palace is Death Mountain, and like the way if you want to get an easy time to get the mountain, get if you can get your if you can get your um attack power up to four, maybe even five, like you'll have a sweet spot with Death Mountain because like a lot of those enemies that a lot of people struggle with killing, you'll kill in like a few hits. Anyway, so we're gonna deliver the trophy. And also, if you go into this house right here, I have to show this. This is Zelda 2. This is like a famous line in gaming history. I am error. What an interesting name. Uh, yeah, it's a very famous line in gaming history. Like I said, these townspeople are not helpful aside from this person. You saved the trophy. So uh, yeah. A lot of these towns people are not helpful, so that's why Zelda 2 can be a little bit of a difficult game to figure out. See, I don't think Zelda 2 is a hard game to play. I think it's a hard game to figure out. With this, you can jump very high, and we get the jump spell. As you see right there. So, um, and also the ma the more ma the reason you want to upgrade magic also is because like, um, the more magic you have upgraded, I forgot to explain this in the last part. The more magic you have upgraded, uh, the less these magic spells are going to cost. Like, the less magic it's going to consume, is what I'm saying. Anyway, so we're go now going to go to the second palace in uh, Zelda 2. And I might just uh, call it a recording after that. I might even record Death Mountain. But, um. Because I'm only posting Zelda 2 on weekends. This is going to be a mini playthrough also. I don't expect this to go any higher than like maybe seven or eight parts. We should. Oh yeah, magic. But um, we're already like, we're already a good, we already got 100 XP. So um, yeah, so um. Yeah, so that's a consistent way of throwing those, killing those boomerang enemies, is boomerang enemies, is crouch stabbing. By the way, these are new enemies that basically, um, I've also used the jump spell, then got that magic, but, uh, they're new, these are new enemies that are basically red bats, they basically turn into, like, devils. Actually, the thing, if you go here, um, if you go here, you basically, if I can reach it, you get a fairy, which kills you. So it's it's great to have. Now, if you get in, if you catch enemies in a grassy field, you can get this um, these enemies. Now, because these enemies always give 10, 10 XP and they and they're infinite um, spawning, I honestly think this is another candidate for one of the best grind a can a good candidate for one of the best grinding spots in the whole game. Because like um, you can just kill this this guy and that's ten XP. You get thirty XP every time you go over here. So like um. Yes, yeah, it's, it's a great candidate for one of the uh, best XP in the game. Best uh, XP farmers in the whole game. And we're going to um, go upwards. Oh yeah. 
10 XP. Sometimes they drop magic though. They don't always do 30, but um. I wanted, I wanted to do the uh, the easier battle first. The harder battle has some enemies that, uh, OP bag. The harder battle has some enemies that take uh, your XP. Yeah, we're gonna go, we're gonna stay in the yellow road so we're safe. And um, we actually should be approaching the palace. Oh yeah, oh yeah. We're already like a third of the way to all, we're already like a third of the way to all level up, which is solid. Oh yeah, I did, this is why I didn't want it. Um, if these bird things hit you, if these birds with beaks hit you, uh, you lose XP. So be careful on that. We're gonna get that magic though. Now, um, also, um, starting at the second palace, if you hit these um things, uh, it's random. Sometimes they give you uh red magic. Sometimes they contain an iron knuckle, so uh, be very careful if you choose to do this. Now, thankfully, I know my way out of the second palace mainly due to the failed recording, but I'm actually going to um, try to see if I can get if I can get a uh, sword upgrade because uh, let's just say, well, we'll just pluck if we, if I can get my 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 sword power up to four, um, and we're not we're not even we're only like halfway out of this dungeon, this palace. We'll have an easy time with the rest of the palace. Especially if I, only, I died in the first palace. All right, 400. We're already halfway there. We're already, well, that's a, I think that's a life upgrade. Yeah, make sure to get this key. This walkthrough, this this place will also be all keys. Like I'll I'll show all the key locations because like. Palace, come Palace 6, you don't have to get all the keys, but I'll just show all the key locations. We need that magic. You know, I was thinking about this. The defense, the kind of defensiveness in like, um, in the, uh, XP numbers, um, not the XP numbers, but the defensive numbers and magic spells. It's like having like a defense like upgrade. Like it's not really much different than say Breath of the Wild, which that's the main mechanic. Like um, I don't know. It's like um, I said in my Majora's Mask playthrough that a lot of people that a lot of crit a lot of criticism I've heard about directed towards Majora's Mask is like the same praise towards Breath of the Wild. So I also feel it's a little bit of hypocrite. It's a little hypocritical. I don't know, it's like, um, I wouldn't say this is like this, I wouldn't say this is the same factor, but like, um, yeah, but um, I don't know. It's just a unique Zelda game because no other Zelda game's a side scroller. We are absolutely gonna kill more of these. We are absolutely, gonna, I might even just, I might even just get my XP up to 800 so I can, uh, so I can then just, um, what the hell am I trying to say? So I can just, uh, get, go straight to the attack power once I get a thousand. Because I'm just going to kill a few more of these so I get, so I can get up to 700. Like I said, these things are like the best grinders in the whole game. So that's when your attack power goes up all the way. And if we can get the five attack power by the end of this, which is 2000 XP, um, we'll essentially hit the Holy Grail. Um, I don't think it's gonna happen though. I think we'd have to sacrifice a level up for that. I think we'll, I think we'll, if we wanna get our attack power up to five, we're gonna have to um, keep our life and magic at four, but um, for the rest of this dungeon, if we want that to happen. Plus we're only on two lives. So it's a little, I might just, I might honestly just go high risk, high reward. You don't want to do that too often if you're a novice player though, but uh, it's pretty, it's not a bad idea if you're a veteran player of this. All right, we're at 700 XP, so um. All right, so we're gonna first get to what, we're gonna get to a thousand and um, we have to get to, because like if we can get to five attack, we'll have a solid death mountain. Like a lot of those enemies that everybody struggles with, if we have five attack power, we'll get through those in like a couple hits. 
saying I did not mean to get hit. I might as well just grind it out. Like, uh, I might, maybe I'll just grind a thousand. So, um, actually, no, because it's gonna be uh, gonna be a couple more magic ones. So, uh, I'll just keep it in this. I'm not gonna grind in this room, but um. So yeah, um, we're going to um. Now be careful about this enemy. Actually, we're not in the right room yet. More Stalfos, but um, they're blue Stalfos, meaning they're the strongest Stalfos. But also, these horse heads, um, they give 20 XP, but um, the problem is if they hit you, you lose XP. So be very careful when you're t when you're dealing with these guys. has a single time that's great now we're also obviously going to wait until um these enemies are i didn't wait till that one but uh we want to wait till these enemies are out of the way because if they not they could knock us in the lava and that's instant death oh shit yeah i didn't um yeah i didn't get uh i didn't uh die right there so um there should be a new enemy in this area. Uh, this is an iron knuckle. Uh, no, that's not what I wanted, but um. All right, one more of these, um. One more of these enemy kills and we get a, uh, we get a sword upgrade. So we're obviously going to take that. I might even just go all in and aim for a five, um, aim for a five, uh, at, uh, um, this temple. It doesn't happen often, but if you can, if you can get it to happen, you'll have a solid death mountain. Now, if you, uh, if you hit this, you get, and when you get, uh, a magic refill. Oh, yeah. Now, if we kill these two uh, things, we're already going to be... Now, these... Uh, once you have four attack, these things are not going to take as many hits. Like, they might take, like, maybe 10 hits. Maybe 15. I don't know. So, yeah, we can definitely grind this out even, even more, but, um... I think I'm just gonna kill a couple. I'm just gonna leave the screen and come back and only kill just two more of these because, like, um, that'll get us at maybe 230 XP. So, um, yeah, um, we'll do that. Because when you beat a palace, if you put the crystal in the uh, palace, basically, you're going to, um, go automatically go to the next level up. If your next level up is the 2000, you'll get the five attack power. So, if we can get that, we'll have a we'll have an easy way through Death Mountain. We go here. Oh wait, no, we don't go here yet. We still have to go here. Kill the Stalfos also. Now, um, there's gonna be an upcoming pee bag. However, um, don't grab the pee bag just yet. Because there's gonna be those blocks and there, if you get caught in those blocks, you're gonna have a hard time getting out, but um, we're gonna cast a shield. I know the name, yeah, these are red iron knuckles. Um, like the other iron knuckles, only stronger, but they also give um, 100 XP or a magic. Um, Drop. Um, I'd prefer the 100 XP like that. And we're already almost at 800 again. We have we have this done. So we might get we might get up to five. Uh, we might legit get to five uh, attack power. We'll get a, have us an, let us get an easy death mountain. Yeah. Once you um once you do that, you go. Once you have the glove that we just got, you can destroy those blocks. Not go downwards without actually um the hell am I trying to say without getting the glove is what I was trying to say 
I think my commentary skills are eroded from an hour long failed recording, but um, I don't know. I'm already at 600. Oh shit. I missed out the pee bag. That pee bag also would have gave us a level up, but uh, unfortunately we're on our last life, so I'm I'm go I might be going all in for like something that might not be achievable, but um, that pee bag would have gave us a one a, a level up, but um, as we'll try to see. You don't want to game over in a palace because if you do so, you go back to the room with Zelda. So definitely avoid that. I love how the better gameplay I got was during the failed recording of this. And we're, at, we're absolutely gonna just grind this out. Now, um, this is basically the same tip I did in the failed recording. This room's gonna have a few of the, these, um, few of these things that give a uh, hundred XP. So, um, give fifty XP. So, um, give a hundred XP in total. So, um. Just leave the room, just kill these two uh, bubbles and leave the room and then come back and um, eventually we'll just get to, uh, eventually our next level up will be, um, will be, uh, what the hell am I trying to say, will be uh, attack, but um, we're essentially going in high risk, high reward essentially because um, if we game over we lose all our XP, so I don't recommend doing this too often, I only really recommend doing it in the early temples. Another one. We're just gonna get up to uh, 1200, so the next level cap is, um, actually we should be able to survive, uh, we should be able to survive. Um, problem is, uh, again, this is my last, we're on our last life, so um, we have to kind of play this flawlessly. So we don't have the life spell, that's not till like, um, later portions of this, but, um, right, so, I'm going to cast a shield because I know this enemy is going to be here. So, um, you want to wait till it, um, we should be able to get a, uh, we should be able to get that, uh, we should be able to get that, uh, defense, that, uh, attack upgrade. We just have to beat the boss on this current date, which means we can't take many hits. It'd be easier if we have the life spell, but we can't get that to the next town. We need to cast a shield. All right, here we go. We one more. Um, now, if you get this pee bag, um, get 200 XP. But I'm not gonna risk it, knowing how we're on our last life. Plus, we killed this red iron knuckle over here. That's gonna come eventually. We'll get to the level up. So, um, we're gonna ignore the level up because. Um, Oh shit. Another uh, another iron knuckle. Oh shit. Okay, that was a little scary. Um the red iron knuckle. All right, we're going to absolutely shield this um Moment of truth, do we get the uh, attack upgrade or do the dungeon over? This isn't really too hard of a boss, I was with four attack power. Um, just wait till these, uh, watch these heads too, because, um, it. 
No, 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 no. Okay, no, 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 no. Okay, okay, that was close. That was that was really close. Like, I probably shouldn't have gone high risk, high reward, but um, that was really close. If we had hit, can hit one more time, we would have had this over again. So uh, yeah, that's why I don't recommend doing this often. But uh, we uh, either way, we have five attack power now. So um, yeah um. I guess, um, I guess we're gonna die on purpose. Just gonna let these, uh, guys, um, gonna let these, uh, gonna basically drain out our life. Because I think this is the last video I'll record in this session. I just wanna show the game over screen also, but, um, Anyway, so, um, we're gonna save also, but, um, if you die, if you game over and you hit continue, uh, you start back in Zelda's Pass. So I think I'm gonna leave off this part of Zelda 2 The Adventure of Link, so, uh, next time on Zelda 2 The Adventure of Link, we're going to do none other than just, um, go to Death Mountain. See you guys then.